welcome kindred spirits to a place of positivity, passion, and purpose. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're thrilled to have you here as we tackle the truce at Bukhara. The Truce at Bukhara is a 1993 Star Wars spin-off novel by Kathy Tyers. It takes place immediately after the events depicted in the film Return of the Jedi 1983 and before those of the Young Reader series Jedi Prince. The book was later adapted as an audiobook, which is read by Anthony Heald. Galoob released models of ships and characters from the novel as part of its Micro Machines line. As we venture forward, let's examine plot summary in detail and gain a deeper appreciation for its significance. While recovering from their victory against the Empire at Ender, the Rebel Alliance intercepts an Imperial probe containing a distress call for the Emperor. The message details a lies-like race of aliens invading the Outer Rim planet Bokra. With Palpatin dead and the Imperial Navy scattered, Luke Skywalker volunteers to lead a force to intercept the alien invasion and save Bukhara. Upon arrival, the Rebel Alliance's force has no choice but to ally with the remnants of the Imperial garrison to repel an invasion by the Reptilian Siruk race under the Siruvi Imperium, which seeks to establish a beachhead in the larger galaxy. The Siruk seek to harvest a supply of life forms whose life energies power their advanced technology through a process known as Entechment. Luke especially intrigues the Sea Rook because they believe his force powers could allow the Sea Rook to Entech beings from a distance. Obi-Wan Kenobi appears to Luke and alerts him to the danger of the Sea Rook if they get into the greater galaxy with this technology. The Sea Rook themselves cannot sense the force, but they know of it through a captured human, Dev Sibora who is force-sensitive but untrained his mother was killed by the Sea Rook and has been brainwashed into furthering the Siruvi agenda. On a personal level, Luke finds himself consistently distracted by one of Bukhara's senators, Gariel Captison, and by the nascent attraction forming between them, despite her religious objections to the Jedi Order. Princess Leia and Han Solo also struggle to find some time together and hash out their newly formed relationship. Leia, putting diplomatic feelers out into a world that joined the Empire only three years before, discovers that Bukhara chafes under Imperial rule as do some of the Imperials. Notably ranking officer command up to Thanis for Imperial Governor Wilk Nerys is too crafty to let dissension spread too far. Finally, Leia must find a way to cope with the revelation given to her on end of that Darth Vader is actually her father, Anakin Skywalker when she is visited by his spirit who begs for her forgiveness. In the end, Nerys attempts to turn Luke over to the Sea Rook in exchange for their retreat, but though the kidnapping succeeds, Luke manages to fight them off and escape. He is also able to free Dev of his brainwashing and decides to take him on as an apprentice, but Dev is injured during the escape and later dies of his wounds. The joint rebel Imperial force turns back the Sea Rook, and during the chaos, Bukharan resistance sells over through Nerys. In his absence, Bukhara decides to join the Rebel Alliance. Commander Thanis defects as well, although he first destroys the Rebel cruiser carrier Flurry. New Republic intelligence later referred to the battle as the Bukhara incident, and believed that it would be best if the New Republic attempted to prevent widespread public knowledge of the Sea Rook, advice that was taken controversially at best. In addition, Luke finally makes his breakthrough with Gariel, though he must shortly leave her when the Alliance forces depart at the end of the novel to continue the ongoing fight against the Empire. In this segment, we'll be unraveling the complexities of characters and exploring its multifaceted nature. Gariel Captis and Wolf Nerys Princess Leia Orden Dev Sibwara Obi-Wan Kenobi Anakin Skywalker Luke Skywalker Hom Solo Tathana's Wedge Antilles with C. Ippo. Let's now enter the realm of role in greater Star Wars continuity and discover the fascinating stories it has to tell. While most existing spin-off works were excluded from the Star Wars canon in 2014, five years later, Bakra appeared in the first episode of Vader Immortal, a Star Wars VR series, and was mentioned in the Star Wars Resistance episode Rendezvous Point. Without further ado, let's move on to the topic of reviews. The book received several reviews, including Have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos? 
let me know in the comments.